Hello, this is Spartacus here, and welcome to another video where today you guys have just seen that I've earned Dark Matter Camo in Black Ops 3, which is awesome. Very, very happy that I have Dark Matter Camo, which I've actually had it for a long time now. It's probably like, I want to say over two months, but uh, don't count me on that. I not It could be like less than a month. I don't remember. But I do have Dark Matter Camo, and the reason why I've never made this video earlier, like when I first got, when I actually did get Dark Matter Camo that day, is because I wanted to make videos talking about diamond pistols, diamond some machine guns, and so on and so forth. And since I, my last one was diamond and pistols, and I wasn't going to do a diamond knife, because you can't really get diamond knife unless you get uh, diamond secondaries, which you can do by, which I actually got in this gameplay, like you guys saw at the very beginning, where... Uh, that's when I got Dark Matter Camo, so I didn't really want to go over the knife, and so I just stopped with secondaries, and then now here I am with Dark Matter Camo, which is awesome. Hopefully that this gameplay for you guys isn't as bad as it may look, but I am using the KRM so shotgun with Dark Matter Camo on it, and this really weird paint shop thing I put on it as well, so hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay while I kind of talk, talk about uh, Dark Matter Camo. So Dark Matter Camo. To get Dark Matter Camo, of course, we all know... You have to get gold on every single weapon, except for the weapons that are in the black markets, like the HG-40, the FFR, um, and all the melee weapons, of course. You don't need to get gold camo for those to get dark matter, which is pretty cool. Um, but you have to get gold camo on every single weapon that's like it, that, that you can basically unlock that's already in the game, right? That's not in supply drops. And that means also rocket launchers and, of course, pistols and even the knife. And it was tough, I, I'll admit it, like, using, doing this was probably really hard. Um, it, the, the hardest one was probably, I want to say the knife, because there is a challenge um, with the knife where you have to get five kills without dying five times with only using the knife. And it's very hard for me to stay alive uh, by getting five kills only with the knife. And I basically, like, played Newtown, which kind of helped a little bit, but then I played also bigger maps because it isn't, like, a clustered of a bunch of people. And so, yeah, I eventually got a gold knife, which I thought was really, I was really excited to get the gold knife because I knew getting Dark Matter Camo would be a lot easier now because that, now that the combat knife is out of the way. But yeah, this is awesome how I already have Dark Matter Camo and hopefully you guys already have Dark Matter Camo as well. I'm very surprised a lot of people got Dark Matter Camo early in the game. They probably played the game a bunch when the game first came out because I played the game a bunch when the game first came out but I never earned Dark Matter Camo I think people just only play multiplayer but I like play every game of the campaign, zombies, and of course multiplayer um, but yeah getting Dark Matter Camo it, it is tough it, 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 you definitely have to put a lot of work into trying to get it uh, the submachine guns and assault rifles are actually pretty easy to get diamond camo for uh, assault rifles you have the attachment called high caliber which you do more extra damage to headshots and that really helps with the headshot challenges because you have to get 100 headshots with each weapon for like some machine guns and assault rifles and then the shotguns the shotguns aren't they're easy and they're also hard so there's two shotguns that i thought were really easy and that was the krm and the argus the reason why i thought those were really easy because the first few challenges um, were basically get a hundred one shot one kills and the krm and Argus can be a one-shot, one-kill by playing in the core game mode, right? So those were really easy. And of course, the challenges after that I just thought were easier. And so I got those gold, like, really quickly. The other two shotguns, the Haymaker and the Breck guy, on the other hand, were a lot harder. So with those two guns, you don't have to get one-shot, one-kills, which sucks, because I would have been playing hardcore mode, like, non-stop with those guns. But you have to get 100 headshots with those two weapons, which was a pain in the butt because there's literally like no headshot damage multiplier in this game. And the only way to do that is by having the high caliber, high caliber attachment, but by using shotguns, they don't have that attachment available. So every time I would get a headshot on an enemy, it doesn't do, deal any extra damage. And when I use a shotgun, I never aim for the head as well. So using the Brick Eye and Haymaker were really hard for me to aim for the head and trying to get 100 headshots with those guns. That, that was the hardest part about using those guns, like getting those gold camo for it. But I eventually got the 100 headshots, and then the other challenges were like so much easier to complete. And then I got those guns gold. It took me a while to get 100 headshots, I will admit. It was not easy for me to do. Light machine guns. So light machine guns were really, really, really easy, except for probably the Gorgon. I think the Gorgon might be, might have been the hardest one. The reason why I find the Gorgon to be pretty hard is because considering that the Gorgon is a very, very slow shooting weapon, but it does a lot of damage. It only takes two bullets to kill an enemy. 
like that's the that's the thing. It, it only takes two bullets to kill an enemy, and you, of course with light machine guns you also have to get a hundred headshots. But using the gorgon, you have to really try and aim for the head and not try to get two shots in the body where he dies and you don't have time aiming for the head. So I think the gorgon was probably hard to get headshots with. Uh, the other challenges I don't think were too hard. I mean I love light machine guns. Light machine guns are like my favorite gun category. The reason why I love light machine guns is because I don't have to run scavenger. So that's kind of like a perk that's not really necessary because there's so much ammo in light machine guns. Of course, the downside is they do reload really slowly, but I love using light machine guns because I like rarely have to reload when I'm like playing the game. And so I just love light machine guns and they're really easy for me. And then snipers. Snipers are a pain in the butt. So with the snipers, um, you have to get 100 one shot one kills, which weren't too hard. But it was actually the other challenges after that that were really hard. Like getting 50 kills with no attachments and 50 kills um with six attachments i think yeah no attachments and six attachments those weren't too hard but <laughs> the hard part was either the long shot medals which actually were kind of hard i will admit the long shot medals were a little bit difficult but it was the five kills without dying though those were hard because if you like normally when you play call of duty if you're focusing on trying to get five kills without dying you're normally not going to succeed like if you just play the game normally and it might just happen like just randomly you'll get five kills without dying without even realizing it because you weren't trying and so for me i was kept trying to get five kills without dying with the snipers and i'm not a good sniper at all like i am literally like the battlefield sniper you could call me the sniper from battlefield where you're an actual sniper you're not quick scoping you're not no scoping anything like that i'm not like that in call of duty well i mean i am sometimes in some situations but <laughs> I'm like the real sniper. I'm like a sniper that would be in real life where you're actually looking down your scope for like 10 minutes waiting for an enemy to pop up. That's like kind of how I am, man. Oh, man. Snipers were not easy for me to get five kills without dying. Those, those, that was the hardest part about using snipers, and it was very frustrating. But once I eventually got done with those challenges, I'm just like, oh, thank goodness. Done with that. And then anyway covered all the primary weapons so the secondary weapons would have been like the pistols so the pistols like the mr6 the uh rk5 and the lcar9 the lcar9 and the rk5 are actually pretty easy to get headshots i will admit they're actually really easy considering they have a lot more recoil than the mr6 because they're like more automatic type weapons except for the rk5 it's a burst which is sort of automatic then the lcar9 of course is fully automatic um because since it adds kick to the weapon like if i'm aiming for an enemy's chest and then my gun kicks upwards and the bullets are going to go up and then it's going to hit their head and then we get those headshots because you have to get 100 headshots and that just makes it really easy then the challenges after that were actually pretty easy as well so pistols weren't too hard mr6 was kind of hard to get headshots but i eventually got through it and i actually saved that gun for last so i can get dark matter because i know the mr6 is a very good pistol and it's my favorite pistol in the game and that's why i saved it for last as you guys saw at the very beginning of the video anyway so those pistols weren't really too hard because they are pretty decent in this game. And of course the rocket launchers. The rocket launchers are actually the very first category I got diamond in Black Ops 2 and in Black Ops 3, believe it or not. I remember getting diamond camo for my rocket launchers in Black Ops 2. And I just felt so happy about it. And in Black Ops 3, I got the rocket launchers diamond first as well. Because those are kind of like the weapons I know I'm never really going to use in the game. So I try to get them over with right when the game starts. And so yeah, rocket launcher is really easy. I'm um, probably getting kills with the rocket launcher, like with the very first one, the XM... I don't even know what it's called. It's the very first rocket launcher. It only has two rockets, and uh, you have to just destroy enemy aircraft. It's really not that difficult. Um, and the black cell is actually probably a lot easier to get. Uh, but yeah, the rocket launchers are really easy. And of course, the combat knife. The combat knife. Um, you have to get, I think, 200 kills with it. Like just 200, just 200 kills with the combat knife. Not too hard. Um, and then of course the challenges after that were difficult. Like I said, the five kills without dying. Or probably the hardest for the combat knife and then there you go i had there you go you get dark matter camo once you complete all those challenges and i have all those challenges which is awesome because i am so happy that i don't have to worry about getting camos unless it's probably a gun in the black market like the hg40 i'm trying to get gold camo for that thing um but yeah dark matter camo i think it's probably the best looking camo in the game and of course it's the hardest camo to earn in the game because like i just said you have to get diamond camo on every single weapon and so, Dark Matter Camo, I think, is a great addition to Black Ops 3. Not necessarily to Black Ops 3, but just to Call of Duty in general. Like, in Infinite Warfare, Infinity Ward's next Call of Duty game, they need to have something similar to Dark Matter Camo in their game. They need something where you, when you earn every single camo for all the weapons in the game, you earn a special camo that looks sick. But you can't just, like, implement a camo in there 
that just looks like this is bland and it's not very that good looking. You have to implement a camel that's like sick and awesome looking, just like Dark Matter Camel. It has to be animated, you know? It has to look amazing. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is it for the video. Hopefully, you guys all enjoyed. And do you guys have Dark Matter Camel? I would like to know that in the comments below. And if you guys don't have it, are you guys planning on trying to earn it? So yeah, hopefully, you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys feel this video deserves, and I shall catch you guys later.